Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Greg Fenton from Zentech. How are you today, Greg? I'm great, Tracy. How are you doing? Greg, let's just start right at the top here. You were Greg from Zen Graphene the last time we spoke. When did you change your name and why? Well, Tracy, we uh, uh, started this process probably four or five months ago. Um, we wanted to have a name that really reflected the evolution of our company and where we're going. We were initially a mining company, then we were solely focused on graphene development. But then as we continued to evolve and started to get some big wins in the technology space, we thought the name Zentech would better represent who we are as a business. Graphene is still uh, a nascent term. It's a nascent industry. Not everybody understands what graphene is or, and, and hasn't been exposed to it. So given the fact that we're really a technology focused business, we thought Zentech would be more representative of, of where we're focusing and where we're going in the future. And of course, you're maintaining your trading symbol, which is Zen, correct? Z-E-N or Z-E-N for our American audience. We have. We are, we are maintaining that, but that brings up another great point. Uh, we have also applied to do an uplisting to the NASDAQ in the U.S. market. Uh, we put in that application about three weeks ago, and we anticipate having approval of that by the end of November or early December. Um, so we will likely have a new trading ticker in the U.S. at that point. Uh, I won't let you know what it is until we get it approved. But uh, for now, we're still ZEN. Well, speaking of timing, the last time we spoke, we were very excited about your Zen Guard. Let's keep going with the Zen theme here. Uh, products, how are those going and what's the latest with, uh, with the Zen Guard? Zengard is going very, very well, Tracy. Uh, the amount of interest in this product is, is even overwhelmed us. Uh, there were a lot of people that were, were watching it from the sidelines until we got Health Canada approval. Once we got Health Canada approval, that really opened the doors for uh, more involved discussions with potential buyers of the product. Those discussions are currently uh, underway. Uh, there is a, a fairly rigorous testing process that most end users will need to be able to purchase this, i.e. test the products with their membership. And I can say that that is going incredibly well. So we're very, very happy with where we are. So in addition to, uh, of course, your submission for your NASDAQ listing, you've changed your name. Uh, an update on Sengard, thank you. You've You've also had some very interesting technology news, which I don't really, I, 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 this is new to me, the isophobic coding. <laughs> Talk to us about that, please. Sure, yeah, that's, uh, that's very, very exciting news. Uh, and this is something that we worked on last winter. Uh, we have a partner, we haven't disclosed who that is yet, but we will, uh, where we actually tested um, our product in a very unique formulation. Uh, with the idea, uh, it's a unique formulation of, uh, of, of rubber, basically. And the idea is to create a coating that wouldn't allow ice to adhere to it. Um, you saw what happened in Texas last winter with the windmills uh, breaking down, the big uh, power generation windmills, wind turbines, when they got a coating of ice on them. Uh, obviously, if you live in a northern climate like we do, uh, you know what it's like in the middle of winter when you've got to take a plane somewhere, you have to go for de-icing. So we were working on developing a coating that wouldn't allow ice to adhere to surfaces. And the breakthrough that our scientific team came, uh, came up with was absolutely spectacular. We are multiples or factors better than the existing products that are in the market. We're actually tested it in a wind tunnel with a turbine. We're actually moving to additional testing in real life conditions later this year. But the most important thing here is we just continue to build out our IP development pipeline because we are an IP development company. So stay tuned for many more exciting things in the pipeline in the coming uh, months. Um, so further to the name change, Greg, can you tell us a little bit more about how Zentech is currently branding yourself to the public markets? Tracy, we are, we, as I said at the beginning, we're an IP development company. Uh, we do have a healthcare focus, but we really want to make sure that we continue to, to, to keep our eyes open for other 
uh, intellectual property that, that we can either develop or acquire. Uh, you saw that with our ice phobic coatings. You saw it with our fuels. Those are incredibly exciting uh, verticals for us, and we continue to move those along. Uh, but for the, the short and medium term, we're really focused on the healthcare space because that's going to allow us to create uh, the most meaningful impact for our shareholders in terms of value creation. So, Greg, congratulations on the new name. We love it. And please join us shortly. We want an update on this new management, some of these new management appointees that uh, you've been announcing recently. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy.